Hi guys, welcome to Stuff and Makeup. My camera is looking so bright today. If I could do this, you can see my much better, can you? I think I'll leave it like that. Let the camera adjust itself. With the lamp it. Today I am using the mint chocolate palette from I Heart Makeup, which is now known as I Heart Revolution. So yeah, these are the shades on the back, and this is one of my top six favourites of the chocolate bars. I do love this palette. I love the greens in it. Even no, I used to wear green on the 17 and blues and pinks and blacks quite a lot. With a little bit of lilac. The name sheet, which we're going to need. And a hand mirror, but I'm definitely going to need a mirror. Look at the gorgeous shades you get. I so love this palette. It's one of my favourites. The brush is somewhere over there in my makeup brush box things. I'm always like getting my brushes everywhere and the foundation I use today is the MARC Mineral Foundation in Porcelain Dull because um, I still got them sore eczema bits, I think it's eczema I've still not been to the doctors yet I probably won't go to the doctors but it feels and looks like it's getting a bit better now thank god for that yeah, I normally suffer it here. It looks like a star shape, and I get it around my nose, and sometimes it's around here. So annoying. It sometimes gets really itchy and irritated. But um, I've been trying to stay off the liquid foundations for a while, so I'm just using my um, mineral foundation powders instead, which don't give a bad coverage look at all, as you can see. They don't look too bad. Also, I've used today the new Makeup Revolution Sport Fix um, Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. I just spray some on, on top of my eyeshadow. Yeah, I think I will go over this eye again and put uh, some more of the gold on. And I forgot my tape. The one thing I need... Okay, Hang so on a minute, I'll be back. And I've got my tape finally. So, yeah, I'm going to... First, you know what I'll do first? I think I'll foundation my face first. First, tap some of the MAC foundation, have it in the lid. Get your nice big fluffy foundation powder brush or blusher brush. Just wash it all over the face. Or this side, because I've done the other side already. And lift that down. On your chin. Into your eyes a bit. Get that bit done there for a minute. Now I get the tape. And now I'm going to go as close to my eye as I can. So I want it to look the, other, the same as the other eye. See, that's on there. It's gently on there. Don't want it too tight. I've got a few of my makeup brushes that I've used already. So the first shade I'm going to use in this gorgeous palette is sugar coated which is this one here it's like a creamy shimmery shade i'm using one of my big blending brushes and i'm gonna put that all over the eye oh this tape's coming off i don't think it has stick into that foundation see that Sorry about the mess out of the back of me, that's all my makeup. Mostly all makeup revolution. So I love makeup revolution. So yep, this is this first all over eyeshadow in sugar coated. Do love that shade. And next I'm going into the shade T, which is this one, and that's just going to go into the crease. Such a gorgeous shade, this T. This um, T shade um, is also in other palettes as well. 
Actually, I might move the sticker tape around because it's come on sticky. Oh, that feels much better. Yeah, so the shade T is almost in the other chocolate palettes as well. So you'll never ever run out of the shade. It is just gorgeous. I just love this shade to pieces. I just put that all into the crease only. There you go, that's in my crease. Again, I'll show you dust everywhere. And then I'm going to go into Commotion, which is this shade here, this nice green. Using one of my Makeup Revolution brushes, and then I'm going to go into the crease, but the lower part of the crease, so it's almost touching your lid. Like this, let's take it moving. Yeah. And you can brush it out to the tape like this. So it gives you that nice cap look. I did that with my other side earlier. I've gone too high on this one, so I need to fix that one in a minute. Oh, I'll sort this one out in a minute. I think it looks kind of cooler higher, actually. I'll just take this one up a bit higher. A bit. Just a little bit higher. Blend it in. So 80s looking now. Really like that look. Go back into this one, make it look the same. Make sure it's all blended in. Then I'm going to go into the Poison Ivy, which is this one. And then I'm going to darken up the corners, like your outer V. Darken that up a bit and go into the eyelid a little bit. I do love the shade Poison Ivy, it's such a beautiful green. Okay, so that's like that. Now I am going to use this gorgeous gold, which is called Disturbance. This one here. Such a gorgeous gold. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go into my um, concealer palette, which is the Ultra Cover and Concealer Palette in Light and Medium. There's the shades on the back. Here's the gorgeous palette. You get a mirror in this one as well. Gorgeous. And I'm going to use this light shade here. This one here. Get my flat brush into that. And then I'm going to go into the middle of the eye. Just put it on. I don't want it to go over the crease. I just want it to sit under. Just like that. I see it's like a square shape. So I'll do that. I'll take this off in a minute, so tape because it's starting to bug me. Doesn't want to stick to my foundation. Ooh, put that one down. Got another flat brush. This is Makeup Revolution brush. Gonna wet this one. Or something. I might use a spray actually. Use a spray. Do it. Get it wet. And I'm going to go into this gorgeous gold. First of all, I think I'll go back onto the other and make that gold stand out more. See the brush eyeshadow when you get your, your con was it? 
when you do your cut crease and when you kind of stand out I think it's always best to wet down your brush make sure the eyeshadow is wet because it does stand out a lot more better and nicer There you go. That eye looks much better. Now I might need to wet this brush again. Go into this gorgeous gold. And go into where I'll put the concealer, dab it on. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. Now I'm going to go back into the brush I used Poison Ivy on. Go back to Poison Ivy. And go in and blend it in. So I want the eyes to match. That one's much better now. Oh, I think I put a bit too much on that one. Go back into the gold. It's okay to make mistakes. I do all the time. I just think it makes blends better if you make a mistake on your eye. So it blends my my brow. It's like you've not made no mistake at all. I really like that. And then I'm gonna get my brush again. The one I used the first time. Actually I won't. I'll try and find a smaller brush, make a revolution one. And I'm going to go back into the sh the first shade we used, which was the Sugar Coated, which is this big one here. And you go into your inner corners. Because I keep, oh, I sometimes keep forgetting to do my inner corners. And now I'm thinking, should I get some eyeshadow underneath? I think I will. I think I'll go with Commotion. Which is this one here, this ring again. I'm just going to go underneath my eye. Blend it up to the eyes. It looks so much better. I like that. Really picked the wrong shade or green then. Actually, I'll remove this tape now. And I'll get another tape in a minute because I've got to do my eyeliner. And I'll bring it out to the eyeshadow up there. Be much better. Now, I'll get myself another piece of tape. That bit doesn't feel sticky anymore. This bit should. Now I'll go against it again. It's going to sit there, which is much better. Okay, now I've got my favourite liquid felt eyeliner. This is the Mure Luxe um, Voluminous Felt Eyeliner in black. It's got a thick end. It's got a massive jumbo felt tip pen. And then I start from up here. You know, this helps create a perfect flick. Because you just go down like a triangle. See if I can use a mirror for that. It always gets in the way. And then I drag it down to the eye. Then I go across. But I only go across, not all the way, just to about here. I stop before the inner corner and where that my eyelashes finish. So I go like that. Make sure that looks neat. There you go. That's the eyeliner. Now I'm going to put my mascara on and my fake eyelash. 
I'm going to use this mascara by the way and my eyelashes. I'm going to put this one in and I'll be back right back with you. My fake eyelashes are on. I'm going to use my mascara from Essence. It's the Volume Styling. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. It's one of my favourites. You know, I cannot remember how much it cost. Must be like £3.50, I think. Really good. And now I'm going to use my one of my favourite highlighters, liquid highlighter. I cannot pronounce the name of this one, so I'll write it on the screen for you. I'll just put it just there in the corner. Or one of the corners, I don't know. Can you see it? Liquid... Ethanol? Maybe? I don't know. I'm no good at pronouncing names. Some names, anyway. But anyway, let's get some of this up. Look how gorgeous this is. And these highlighters are about six ninety nine, I think. From Tan Beauty or Superdrug. See that nice glow it gives? It's not too in your face, either. So I'm going to use that one. My hand. So, what I do is... Little dots just going up towards the eyes on the side. I use this one quite a lot. Let's go mad, shall we? Just put a little bit above the eye because I don't want to wear any eyebrow products today because I'm letting my eyebrows grow out. I feel like I keep going and get them shaped. A bit on your nose, a bit on the forehead. I'll just go and add a fire lights all the time. Bit on my chin, a bit off here, I think. That's it. Looks like a right mess. Right. Don't know where my favourite buffy finger brush has gone, so I'll use this Makeup Revolution one. I'll just blend it all in. See how nice and glowy that looks. It's really nice. Blend it in. I'm rubbing circular motions. Your nose. My forehead. I sometimes brush the brush down or across like that and sometimes do circular motions. I find it blends in a lot better. Wow, I look so shiny. Mm, wait, I'm with it. Uh, this is my favourite contour stick from Makeup Revolution. It's a Ultra Contour Duo Stick in Fair. You've got your light end and your dark end, but this is your dark end. That's the one I'm going to use in a minute. And this is that one. So I like to put this on after I've done a bit of highlighting, so I know where to go. I always seem to draw shapes on my face. Draw that in, and then this side, because I've already done this side, so I don't need to do. I need to do this side. I got up. Like that. What a mess, huh? And then I go across here. Do you realise that really? But it's your nose. Got a surprise coming. I'll go down the side of the nose. If it let me. Yeah, and I'll go over the lip. Because this makes your lips look a bit bigger. Go into the lighter shade. This is supposed to make your lips pop out more. Look at your nose. Oh, annoying. So, I use that brush again, same brush as the highlight one, and then just like a motion blend. I don't think I'll wear any brushes today because I think that'd be a bit too much. Oh, at least got the nose. It would be funny to go out and line up your nose. I've heard a few people have gone out, forgot they contoured their face and gone out with lines over the face. I don't think I have ever done that yet. It'd be funny if I did that. Down the lips. Mm, it 
is kind of good so far. I really do need to dye my hair. I don't know if to go back to red. Like the bright red, like actually they're bright, bright, bright red. Like um, Mr. Sheen polish spray can, something like that. So yes, I'm going to be using the uh, Retro Pro Metallic Lip Kit in, in waiting. It's a gorgeous pink shade. I'll show you, this is the lip liner. That's the lip liner, see it? Gorgeous pink. This is the lipstick. I really love this one. So I'll apply this. Do the angel lips. Or the cupid bow, what they're called. Cupid bow, that's it. I always go back and forth. It's all going like that. I should do sometimes I prefer to do this. Like I'm sketching. And I got that into comic. I'll do that for now. And then use the lipstick. I do love my metallics. What do you think of that? One eye looks different than the other, I think, or it might just be me. Brush it out inwards a bit. Might have had to clear this up in a minute. Bend it a bit more. Oh, that is much better. Much better. Make sure you ain't got no green everywhere else. That's it. And that's my look today using the mint chocolate palette from I Heart Makeup. Which is very affordable. This is only eight ninety nine. You can get this in Tan Beauty or Super Drug and a few other online sites as well. We'll do this. See? There's the mint chocolate. That's one of my favourites. Thank you for watching Step on Makeup. See you soon.